Lesson 8, Task 4. We're going to use the Adventure Flyer from Tasks 1, 2, and 3 in this exercise. Center a paragraph on the Adventure Flyer. Step 68. Click on the Home tab if it is not already and click somewhere on the line underneath the first line. This will be your second line on the Adventure Flyer. Step 69. Click the Center button in the paragraph group to center the line on your flyer. Now we will insert a picture. Make sure that you download the mountain trail picture from the class website. Step 70. Click the insert tab on the ribbon. Click the picture button to display the insert picture dialog box. This will insert a picture from a file. Step 71. Navigate to your computer concept folder to insert the mountain trail picture. After clicking on the file name, click the insert button to insert the picture. Step 73. Select the picture if not already selected. Pay attention to the ribbon, noticing the Picture Tools Format tab that has become enabled. Now we will resize the picture on the flyer. Step 74. Point at the lower left corner sizing handle and drag the sizing handle diagonally outward until the lower left corner of the picture is positioned approximately as shown on the flyer in your directions. Step 75. Release the button to resize the picture. Check the size of the picture so that it is about a height of 3.26 and a width of 5.04. These dimensions do not have to be exact. Now we will apply a picture style to our image. Step 76. Click the Picture Tools Format tab on the ribbon to display the Picture Tools Format tab. Step 77. Be sure that the graphic is still selected if not. You can tell because of the size and handles around the picture. Step 78. Click the More button in the Picture Styles Gallery to expand the gallery. Step 79. Point to the Drop Shadow Rectangle in the Picture Styles Gallery and click on it. The drop shadow rectangle is located in the picture styles gallery. Now we will apply some picture effects to our picture. Step 80. With the picture still selected, click the picture effects button to display the picture effects menu. Step 81. Point to the glow section of the picture effects menu and display the glow gallery. Step 82. Point to the turquoise 5 point glow accent color 6 in the glow variations area and click on it to apply it to the selected picture.
Step 83. Click the Picture Effects button again to display the Picture Effects Gallery menu. Step 84. Point to Bevel on the Picture Effects menu to display the Bevel Gallery. Step 85. Click the Angle in the Bevel Gallery to apply the bevel to the selected picture. Now we will add a page border to our flyer. Step 86. Click the Design tab on the ribbon Step 87. Click the Page Borders button on the right side of the ribbon to display the Borders and Shading dialog box. Step 88. Click the second border style and the Style list to select the style. Step 89. Click the Color arrow to display a color palette. Step 90. Click Lime Accent 2 Lighter 80% in the color palette to select the color for the page border. Step 91. Click the Width arrow to display the width list and then click the 4.5 point to select the thickness of the page border. Click OK to see your changes. Now we will zoom in to one page so that it will display the entire page in the document window. On your ribbon, click on the View tab. Then in the Zoom group, find the One Page button to display the entire page in the document window. Now we will change the spacing before and after our paragraphs. Step 95. Position the insertion point on the first line of the flyer. Click anywhere on the line. You should see your insertion point or your blinky line on it. Up on the ribbon, click on the Layout tab. Step 97. Click the Spacing After box. And then type in 6 to change the spacing below the paragraph. Step 98. Then click the Spacing Before box and type 6 to change the spacing before the paragraph. After you type the number, press enter. If the text flows to two pages, reduce the space before and after to make the flyer one page. Now we will center the page contents vertically on the document. Step 99. Click the Page Layout tab on the ribbon, if not already selected. Step 100. Click the Page Setup dialog box. Step 101. Click the Layout tab to display the layout sheet. Step 102. Click the Vertical Alignment arrow to display the list of alignment options, then click Center. Step 103. Click OK to accept the changes. Now we will save an existing document with the same name. We will put our name in the footer 
of the flyer. Step 104, click the Insert tab on the ribbon. Step 105, click the footer button in the Edit the footer group. The Edit footer button at the bottom of the menu You can tell you're in the footer because you can see the tab with the footer on it, also where the header is. Step 106, type in student name into the close and then close the footer. Step 107, click the Save button on your Quick Access Toolbar. Your document should look like the final figure on the directions. Save your changes, close the document, and upload it on Canvas.